Yeah, what's the move? What's the move, y'all? It's your guy, Pesa P. Anki, Lan Lumumba, a.k.a. Blow Lambo from out the barrio. And you in tune to Blow Talk TV. You know what I mean? So if you in tune right now, I'd like y'all to do me a solid favor, you know what I mean? Hit that like button. Off the T.O.P. Hey, if you dislike, hit the dislike. Off the T.O.P. Yeah, you know I mean, share this video. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, and subscribe. And if you'd like to help to see this channel grow, you can send a donation to my cash app at Lamumba16. That's L-A-M-U-M-B-A 16. Stankin' motherfuckers. <laughs> So check the move, you know what I mean? Uh, I noticed everybody, you know, got an opinion on Jay Prince. Ugh, since his own... Since his own comments he made regarding the takeoff. And uh, since a lot of people always say, Ah, oh, man, you ain't even from so-and-so. You, you, ain't, you ain't qualified to speak on this, which... I mean, I'm qualified to speak on whatever I feel. You feel me? So is anybody else. That's why we have what we call the internet. Anyway, off top, as y'all all know, I'm from Atlanta. You know, born in Perry Homes, raised in Summer Hill, but mostly raised in Jacksonville, Florida. You know what I'm saying? Which I now live in um, St. Louis, Missouri. But like I say, this coming from somebody who is from Atlanta in which the Migos was my favorite group. I mean, not my favorite group. They were my third favorite rappers. After OJ the Juice Man, number one, rest in peace, Young Dolph, then would be cut the Migos. But um, Take Off was my favorite. And actually, a day before Take Off was killed, you know, I was in Atlanta, you know, and um, I was up on MLK, staying with my cousin. Went down there to visit. I had death in the family. And actually, it was a restaurant on MLK called The Bando, which y'all know Migos had that son, Bando. And the whole time I was up there, I was wanting to go to The Bando, wanting to go to The Bando, but I didn't. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't but so far down the block, but just because it's called a bando, I don't know if the Migos got to do with that restaurant or not. But anyways, so after, you know, seeing clips of people putting out stuff about on J. Prince, I decided to look it up myself and see what did he say, see the whole conversation. Now, I admit everything was going good. Everything was good. You know, it wasn't nothing wrong that he said towards the end. But even up until the end, say like when his brother went to speak it, you can hear his brother start to cry a little bit. You know, while he was talking, you, you can hear it in his voice. He was breaking up when he was talking because of all the recent stuff that's coming at them and their family. You know, and, um, you know, Nobody, you know, none of those guys had anything to do with what went on. You know, I will say, and when my when it first jumped off, I I kind of thought I was like, well, why was Buddy so quick to put his hand on his gun? You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't have even been that type of situation. You know what I'm saying? You took it to a level that it wasn't at it. You know what I'm saying? And for one, you in somebody else's city. You know what I'm saying? When you in other people's city, you got to move accordingly. You know, and if if take off, the way I feel, not take off, but Quavo. If Quavo was feeling like he was getting cheated in a dice game, you know, bro, when you got money and you gambling with people that's less than you, he could have easily got up and said, you know what? Y'all boys can have that, though. We out of here. Because that's nothing to him. You know what I'm saying? Now, 
everything was cool way to the end about takeoff. This was towards the end of the video. You know, when uh, Jay Prince said what he said, you know, but I felt like, I felt like he wasn't wrong for what he said, but I felt like he shouldn't have said that. And I'm going to give you a reason why. You know, now, just because he's, and I don't like when people try to hold people to a higher standards. Because at the same thing, at the same time, he's still a man, just like you a man and whoever else, man or woman. You know what I'm saying? But just because you at a certain standards, people hold you to a higher regard. You know what I'm saying? But one reason he shouldn't have never said what he said between this time and maybe a year, in the course of a year, if anything was to happen to offset, people going to be pointing the finger at Jay Prince. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you, true enough, okay, you hearing rumors, you, you, at the end of the day, I felt like he got to have a little more respect for the family and what's going on because their emotions are a lot, emotions are a lot higher than their emotions are. You know what I'm saying? They actually, on the other end, they actually lost somebody. So people going to feel how they feel and they going to talk how they going to talk. You know, just give us some time and let things play out. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you lose somebody, you going to, no matter what circle you run in and it come up, you know, you may say things amongst people that you don't want to come out like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that you hide from what you're saying. You just speak in under the comfortableness of the people you're around. But it's people who want to promote stupid stuff. So they're going to run back and say this or say that. Or in the same sense, you know, it's people can run. Like they say, the streets talk, but the street also tell lies. You know, so from what I'm hearing, which I haven't checked out the part where they say um, Offset responded and said, hey, man, you you can um, talk to me about that. You know what I'm saying? I haven't checked that out. You know, but at the same sense, people can talk on the phone with you and talk with sense and go around the corner and they got something else to say about you. I just feel like you know, I feel like Jay Prince ain't wrong for nothing he said because at the end of the day, he a man. And if somebody, that just like if you accused of something and people feel how they feel, you think, I mean, I ain't had nothing to do with that, but it's whatever y'all want to do about it if it's like that because it ain't nothing I can tell you about it. So, I mean, it's whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But on the public level, you know, like I say, he, he shouldn't have, he could have left that out. You know what I'm saying? 